Hey all, welcome back to another episode of Travel with Carter. Here I am in beautiful uh, Honduras, and this is country number 86 for me. And uh, today we're talking about what can $10 US get you while, while in uh, Honduras. So first off, let's do the uh, conversion. So as of the time of filming, um, $10 US equals 249.5 uh, Lempira. And let me show you what the bills look like. Right, so this is a 500 uh, uh, Lempira note, and again, that would be uh, 20 US as of today's filming. Uh, there is the 100, the 50, 20, 10, 5, and lastly, the one Lempira note. All right, now the fun part. Let's go see what I was able to spend it on. Enjoy the episode. All right, so something we can always fit in the $10 budget pretty well anywhere around the world. I think this is probably my, I'm gonna guess, 12th or uh, 14th uh, different country trying to McDonald's in. Like I said, uh, it's fun to um, it, see what the differences are and then give you that familiarity that you know what you're walking into at the same time. So got McDonald's there in the background. Um, I was gonna film inside, but they had uh, Justin Bieber uh, playing quite loud uh, in the background so it's one of those things uh, as a Canadian you can leave Canada but you can't leave Justin Bieber so keep that in mind all right so I got a nice burger here this one is called a uh, smokehouse del res all right so you can uh, this is on their kind of gourmet menu so well, first off you see the nice uh, um, like potato bun I think they call it and then uh, I'll show you some of the toppings here so we got uh, uh, so it's a beef burger and then uh, got some grilled uh, onion rings on top, bacon, uh, looks like kind of a honey mustard sauce. And uh, yeah, let's give it a try here. So, burger looks done nicely. It's got the cheese on it, mayonnaise. Let's give it a try. Love it. That is a really good burger. So this one again on their kind of gourmet menu. Um, and I really like it. So it's got nice sauce, nice crunch with those onion rings, uh, bacon, beautiful. Uh, and this was uh, 154 le Lempita. So about uh, five US, uh, give or take. So there you go. If you want to try while in Honduras, give it a go. Hey all, sorry to pause the video here. Just wanted to uh, remind you all to please do me a huge favor. Hit that subscribe button down below. Uh, currently only about 10% of all the people watching this video are subscribed. So that would be a huge, huge help as I go and uh, try to accomplish my goal of being the first person with type one diabetes to go to every single country in the world. I'm getting there and I can get there even faster with your help. Now, that being said, it's not just for me. Every time my subscriber count doubles, I will be giving out a prize pack. I gave one out at 500, gave one out at 1,000. I can't wait to give one out at 2,000. Can't wait to give one out at 4,000. But again, please hit that little button down below. And then whatever country I'm in, in the time of the video, I'll send a gift pack to the lucky winner from that country. Thanks for your support. Stay gold. Here I am in uh, beautiful Roatan, Honduras. And today we are talking about what can you get for $10 US. So while here, uh, definitely get out, enjoy the beautiful free beaches and uh, uh, ocean life. Lots of that can be done for free or at a minimal cost. Uh, if you have your own snorkeling gear and stuff, then essentially it's free, but uh, um, you're probably gonna wanna have a beer. So I'll show you that. So that's the uh, Salva Vida. So that's uh, right there on the front, La Cerveza de Honduras. So there you go. I love it whenever it's got a national logo on it that tells me it's gonna be pretty good. Oh, you saw a little splash there. Cheers. It's so good, especially right beside the ocean. And after uh, all that salt water in your mouth and in your skin doing its wonders, 
it tastes incredible so uh, one of these is about um, in that three dollar US range give or take depending on where you're getting it if uh, at a, uh, a bar or beach bar like this yeah you're looking at maybe even closer to four dollars US but you can get it cheaper in town but uh, yeah somewhere in that two to four range cheers all right so I'm about to dive into a very uh, typical um, Honduran meal. This is uh, something that's yeah very popular uh, in this region. Um, so I have uh, conch um, to start off. So that's my uh, uh, protein or, or seafood choice. So if you're not familiar with uh, conch, it's uh, essentially a big snail, a big sea snail. So quite big. So <clears throat> they can be like the size of a grapefruit or, or even bigger. Um, and uh, yeah, these guys... Uh, dive for them uh, they just essentially live on the bottom not not overly difficult to uh, uh, to catch once you're down there they don't move very fast but uh, you got to dive down for them so it's pretty neat to see these guys uh, uh, these locals uh, local fishermen do these uh, 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 free diving um, for them so I got garlic uh, conch I'm going to add a little uh, uh, habanero hot sauce which is um, uh, my favorite flavors of hot sauce so I love uh, um, just the um, it's hot it's got that bite but it's also got a nice uh, uh, nice flavor profile with it so let's dive in and I got um, fried plantains so again this is a very typical thing in this part of the world and I'm just melting as I'm eating it it is incredibly hot here again today got no wind <clears throat> But uh, hey, this is what we're here for. Beautiful conch. So yeah, I'd put it close to um, squid in that in that same kind of um, uh, flavor profile and um, texture as well so depending on how it's done it can be a little bit chewy at times but um, um, yeah quite nice and this whole dish is only uh, 12 US dollars so this uh, uh, pretty big meal sorry 15 US dollars uh, for, for this for this meal and that to me is quite reasonable especially with a view like that and yeah, rice and beans, this is something very, very typical in um, uh, Central America. I would guess probably 50% of meals are going to have it on its plate um, at any restaurant you go to or just a local friend's house. Yeah, it's filling. It's nice. It adds that uh, a little, little bit of spice to it. This one's got um, not a ton of spice, but... <clears throat> Yeah, beautiful uh, um, starchy goodness and a bit more of the conch. And I've had it told to me many, many, many times that uh, um, conch is uh, um, a lot of people consider it kind of nature's Viagra, if you will. So it uh, uh, helps with the... Uh, um, making men's parts work a little bit better and that's uh, if I had a nickel for every food product I've heard that that um, <laughs> that does that I'd be a rich man uh, in my travels but uh, uh, the locals do believe it Fingers crossed. All right, so this is something we can definitely fit into a $10 uh, uh, budget video in Honduras. So this is something I've seen similar across Central America, but not quite the same. So this is called a uh, Bastel. Okay, so that is uh, um, basically a tortilla. Um, yeah, just double checking what I ordered here. Uh, 
baletas, uh, sorry, baletas. So that is a, a chorizo baletas. So essentially a tortilla with the chorizo and it looks like cheese in it. And then I got two um, uh, pastels. So one is with uh, uh, corn and it's uh, uh, beef. And then I have one with uh, flour that is uh, uh, chicken or pollo. So um, let's dive in and give them all a try here. Why not? So first this, uh, um, again, uh, baletas, um, maybe saying it wrong, but uh, uh, chorizo baletas. So essentially a chorizo uh, tortilla. In this case, they mean, um, I think it's chorizo de beef, or, which is essentially steak. Um, so in Argentina, I know I had uh, chorizo a couple times, which was essentially steak or beef. So that's what it looks like to me. Uh, let's open it up. Yeah, th these are big chunks of uh, steak or beef. Which they're also calling chorizo. When I think chorizo, I'm thinking sausage, but um, hey, here we go. Live and learn. Okay, on to these uh, pastels, which is uh, looking very similar to an empanada. Again, I've had empanadas uh, uh, in many, many uh, countries, many places. So this one looks lovely. I believe this one is um, uh, the flour and the beef. Uh, let's dive in, give it a go. Beautiful. So yeah, that is beef, that is flour. And then this one, this is corn and uh, chicken. So I don't think I've ever had a, um, a corn empanada before, but let's dive in. So the first bite's essentially all uh, uh, corn, so you can definitely taste it. All are nice. Again, this is too much for me. I probably could have just done with, with just one of these. Or, yeah, I don't think I even needed both of those empanadas. But, uh, yeah, each one of these you can get for um, definitely under $10. You can fit all three of these into a $10 budget. Um, and, yeah, uh, why not? Went in Honduras, try them all. Each, uh, maybe not all at once, but uh, one, one at a time. Give them a go. All right. One of the big challenges I have with uh, doing these ten dollar videos is is trying to get all the currency together right away to uh, film an intro shot and then uh, go on my way. But uh, oftentimes, uh, again, I trust uh, uh, the locals I talk to, and and they tell me, yeah, this is all the the currencies. Um, or all the different bills, etc. Um, and I, I go with it. Uh, so I got caught here in uh, Honduras where I forgot to do my homework and uh, I realized there is a 200 uh, Lempira note. And not only is it a, a, a nice note, it, or uh, not only did I miss it, it's a beautiful note. So it's got uh, beautiful parrots there in the back. And uh, yeah, so that's one of the uh, um, challenges with what I'm doing is I, I trust the locals, I take their word for it. I don't always Google and, and do the background checks, which uh, I, I guess I need to do. So, um, but yeah, there's one more note that I missed in the uh, uh, intro. So we'll add that into uh, the $10 video. So there is a 200 uh, uh, Lempira note as well. 
There you go. Look at those beautiful mangoes. So these trees are all over the place. You can find uh, the mangoes uh, uh, everywhere. They're not quite in season, but uh, I see a couple on the ground here. There you go, that feels kind of soft. And uh, again, you can get these for free if you're walking around in uh, a lot of parts of Honduras. And uh, yeah, definitely where I'm staying, this is a free, beautiful treat. Uh, you know what? I'm going to dive in. I'm going to show you guys what it's all about. All right, why not? The trees behind me. This is uh, um, all part of the $10 challenge. You got to sometimes get creative. And uh, this guy fell a couple days ago, probably. It's been roasting in the sun. Oh, that looks incredible. Let's dive in. Oh my gosh, that is incredible. That is really, really sweet. Oh my gosh. Small little tasty mangoes, not sure the exact type of them. Man, that is good. Gotta wash my hands now, but um, that was worth every second of it and again for free all right so something i can always fit in a ten dollar budget is a beautiful flag so this uh beautiful honduran flag was only uh two uh usd or uh, 100 lempira so uh, i love the uh, coloration again uh similar to argentina and uh, a few other countries in the region but uh, yeah, it's beautiful with the stars. And I actually got two. So the second one is going to one of you lucky folks. So um, again, I've been pushing this uh, uh, for quite some time, but we're getting very close to the 2000 uh, uh, subscriber mark. So as soon as I hit 2000 subscribers, I've been uh, putting together a nice gift pack and this is going in uh, one of them and uh yeah that's going to one of you so again if you haven't subscribed to my videos yet please hit that button down below and again if you can tell a friend tell a family member heck tell a stranger that's how this channel grows and i can continue uh to be on my goal to be the first person with type 1 diabetes to go to every single country in the world so again i appreciate the, all the support so far and can't wait to give out this prize pack uh, coming soon to one of you Hey, thanks so much uh, for tuning into another episode of Travel with Carter. Really appreciate all the support I've uh, been receiving. I hope you guys enjoyed uh, the, the video. Uh, please hit that subscribe button down below if, uh, if you do really like what you're watching. And if you could share it with your friends and family, that would help uh, also. Uh, tune in next week as we go to a new uh, country. Can't tell you where just yet, but uh, video will be released next week. Stay golden all.